YouTube, what's happening? It is Tuesday, October 22nd, and it is going to be a busy day on the ice as NHL has the spotlight. All 32 teams are playing. That means 16 games on the ice. You can see, look at all them games. That's a lot of games. Busy day indeed. So this is going to be a very long video. Now, look, I understand some of you don't have the time to watch or you just don't want to watch. If you don't want to do all that, but you still want the plays, become a member. Because if you do that, you can get everything typed out for you just like this. I send it to all the members every single day for every single sport there's a video on. You get to see it all. So it's always there. You can see it's hockey, baseball, football. It's going to be basketball starting this week. It's all there. So join that if you want to. If not, no big deal. You don't have to because all the information is always in the video. It's always here for you. So uh, it's just an extra thing for you to see. So we have 16 games. We're going to do them all. We're going to focus on the spreads. We're going to focus on the stats. And we're going to look at props and see if we can find anything of value that we want to bet on. So drop a like, subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump into that first game right now. All right, first game is going to be Washington and Philly. We can see that it is essentially a pick em with a total of five and a half currently. So let's look over at the actual stats. We can see the numbers and the offense clearly favors Washington. Look at the numbers. They don't lie. Philly is not exactly the best when it comes to offense. Washington is really good on offense. They both take about the same amount of shots per game just washington's way more accurate which is good that import, that's important need that uh goalie information looks about the same but we'll check it out in a second and then philly seems to not be able to keep men on the ice which is an issue you got to have dudes on the ice if you want to actually have advantages otherwise you're just giving up power plays to washington that's not going to work that's that is an eight minute difference damn that is ridiculous you need to come chill out a little bit just pump the brakes so uh you can see the numbers let's look at the goalie see who's um expected and confirmed so lineup experts awesome website gives what they think is confirmed expected uh they have good reason and projected is they made a guess i mean come on so uh but they're mostly they're pretty accurate most of the time sometimes you know teams make a change like pitchers they also they'll change it last minute and not tell nobody so that's what they do here so we see for washington and philly we got old charlie going out there with his one and one his 305 goals against his 89 percent save percent up against samuel who's one one and one two by nine 89.6 these are the same dudes just different hair that's the numbers are almost identical for this one so with the goalies being the same and then you pop back over here, look at the information. I got to lean Washington in this one just because of the offense. I mean, the only thing difference is there's a clear advantage in the offense for Washington. So, uh, so far I'm leaning Washington on the ML. Let's pop over to the props to see if uh, we can see anything we'd like in this one. So, uh, this is outlier. You can get you a link in the description where you can get this for a full week. You can try it out for free and it's good for every sport. You can see NBA, NFL, uh, college football, hockey, Baseball, I've been using it all season, and basketball is starting here soon. So uh, NBA starts tonight, actually, but college starts in two weeks. If you didn't know that, it does. It's getting busy around here. So uh, link in the description, free week, worth it. Awesome. So uh, you can see all this. We are uh, looking, uh, Dylan here, the, the best matchup possible you could have with 100% in the last five. Yeah, I think we're going to look at his points. I think we're going to look at that and probably take it because... 2113. Yeah, dude's been cooking. What's his number? 100, um, 100. Minus 145. I think I can deal with that. 138 at FanDuel. Yeah, I think we're going to rock with that, but we'll see anything else. What we got? I try to keep it 80% or higher. I don't want to come down here too often. Even though we got some beautiful matchups, I tried because we have other options up here. Like we got Tom Wilson points, we got Carlson points. They're only 80%, but we'll look and see how they are. So far, oh, Dylan might be the play. So, and props don't always hit, but sometimes they do. So, Let's see, he's hit, yep, he's four for four this year. And then we can see that two, one, one, you're pretty good this year. So basically pick one of these three guys are probably gonna hit your point. I'm gonna go with Dylan because, well, yeah. Yeah, Dylan's got more, so I'm just gonna go with Dylan on this one. I don't like any, I'm not gonna go anything else. You could also go with maybe Frost shots on goal. We'll look at it too. I'll take a little peek at it if, for you. Cause I know some of you care about this stuff, so. Raw shots on goal, three, four, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the 100% guy, even though one of the games is from last year. That's fine with me. These are all 100% for the season, but they've only played four games. So I'll go with Dylan just because it looks good. We'll take him. We'll take uh, Washington on the money line next. All right, game two, we're going Minnesota and Florida. We can see that Florida is a pretty moderate favorite, 145. Five and a half is that total. Let's look over at the numbers. 
offense is about the same. You can see they're all the same numbers. There's nothing really different in the top four categories. Florida is a little bit better when it comes to shooting percentage, but not by much. Minnesota is way better when it comes to power play and goalie situation and keeping dudes on the ice. So let me show you the goalie uh, situation. Minnesota has confirmed Philip will be starting 3-0-1 with a 149 with a 95%. is absolutely nasty work. He is crushing it. Goalie rank two. You earned that one. Uh, Florida is expected to have Sergey go out there. 3-1-1, 294, 8 9 uh, 90%. Not bad, not bad numbers at all. It's just not Philip good, you know what I'm saying? So let's pop back to the numbers. And with these numbers being equal, but the goalie situation leans Minnesota heavily uh, because of the information in the numbers, I gotta go Minnesota. Now Minnesota currently, as you saw, is a plus juice. This is plus, it's a dog. So I don't like the over under in this one. I don't know which way, I don't need a feel. When you have two average offenses, nah. But I do think Minnesota should win this game. So uh, let's pop over to the props, see what we got. Because so far, uh, we got Sam Reinhart over points, but you're going up against this goalie? No shot, my friend. I am not taking that. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it ain't happening. So what do we got? What is the advantage at? The advantage might be, really, really, there might not be any of it. It might be just blocks. Let's look at blocks. I mean, they're pretty good. And they got a great, beautiful matchup, 29th. Cool. So let's look at those. Um, all right, let's start with that. Let's start with Reinhardt. Let me show you his. Two zero one two three one three. Now, if anybody's going to get a point, it's probably going to be Reinhardt. I mean, it just makes sense. But you see the goalie. Philip is a beast, so I don't really trust that. So I'm going to pass on it. I just got to. I can't trust it. Uh, Broden here. Three zero four two three. If you want blocks, that's a that's a fun one to play. You can get it at most books. Two and a half blocks. And then we also have uh, Middleton also for blocks. So you can see what he has done. I do. I want to take a block. Mm, they have a great. They both have great matchups. Ooh, Florida shoots 18th at 10 points, no, 11th at 31 a game. I'm just not, I need to look more into blocks before I start actually taking them. You know what? Let's look at shots. Can we get a shots on goal for this one? You know, let's take a little bit deeper because a lot of times shots on goal requires a, a confirmed goalie on here on the, for this to work. So, uh, to, 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 to shots on goal. To, Goalie saves. That's all I want. Not seeing it. That's fine. That's, that's fine. No big deal. I'm not feeling... If you want to take a block, that's fine. But I think I'm just going to rock with Minnesota to get the win here. And then we'll, we'll actually skip on the prop. So we'll do that and move on to the next game. All right, next up, we got Tampa Bay in New Jersey. Now, one thing we got to keep note of. Tampa Bay is one of the two teams that played last night. So they were just at Toronto. They lost 5-2. to two. Now they went on the road again, and they got back-to-back -back going on. So them and Toronto, we got to pay attention to. Even fade a little bit because back-to-backs in any sport is rough, unless you're in baseball where they're used to it. So uh, let's look. Let's pop over. So we have uh, New Jersey 150, probably rightfully so. And then we have six and a half. So let's look at the numbers. We can see three and two, five and two. Uh, we can, the offense looks better for Tampa just based on statistics. They're not as good at shooting per game, but they're sat, they're, they're, they're more careful with their shots. They don't shoot as much, but they're more accurate. That, that's why we don't put that. New Jersey is the epitome of average. 15, 15, 14, 15, 13, 15. Like the, any 15 to 16 to 17 is average in my sheet because there's 32 teams. It's the middle. So they are the epitome of average. Um, Tampa's goalie situation, average. Jersey's good. Tampa having trouble keeping dudes on the ice. Jersey is not. So let's look at the goalies. Um, so you can see the five to two right there. There's a result. And then let's look at the goalies. Uh, Jonas is expected uh, 2.14 with a zero record, 93.3, rank 59. Oof, not the best. Uh, Jacob Markstrom, 299, 90%, 3 one Yeah, he is ranked ninth. So, yeah, you got to give New Jersey the, rank, the, the lean on that one for sure. Back to the numbers. I will give Tampa the lean on the offense, but mm, somewhat so. Um, ugh. I don't know if I, with Tampa being on a back-to-back, -back, I almost want to take New Jersey. Their, app, their offense is average, but their goalie situation is way, way better than old Jonas here. So let's pop over to props and see if we can find anything that stands out. See, we got a lot of red. These aren't good matchups. Not good matchups at all. Got to come all the way down here for blocks. I'm not feeling blocks. And the blocks are 60%? No. We have a 19th with 100%. And it's blocks, but it's Dylan. So let's look at and see what Dylan's been up to. 
because if that's he was good we're gonna take it one five zero three two two three two and blocks against tampa tampa shoots they don't shoot that much but they're very accurate so i don't know if i like that Ooh, i might i might pass on this one to be honest completely i might just completely pass because i'm not liking the prop i don't like the matchups we have going here look at all those top seven matchups these are all great matchups for the defense not for us trying to get hit a prop so we're going to pass on that prop i don't like the whole tampa being on a back-to-back -back -back. uh but the offense leans tampa new jersey you see it's kind of eh. so this one this one's there's 16 games there's other things to bet on so we can pass on some games this is one we're going to fully pass on next all right moving on to dallas and buffalo and we can see Dallas is a 150 favorite with a five and a half total. Let's look over at the numbers and we can see that uh, the offenses aren't exactly the best. We got some red and orange, a little mustard ketchup situation going on here. So they're both in every category. Both these teams are in the bottom eight, bottom 18 to 32 range. So not the best on offense. Uh, goalie situation, I mean, Dallas is clear cut number one when it comes to this. I mean, dude, you, we'll show you why here in a second. They keep dudes on the ice. Buffalo does not. That's that's sad <laughs> that's just sad that buffalo gives up goals so we're gonna yeah dallas 150 is gonna be a play almost certainly let's look at the goalies for dallas we have old jake going out there 4 0 with a 148 95 percent just a beast number one overall and then buffalo is expected to send out oh levy levi um one and two three seven nine eighty seven point four thirty eight they're they're below average but you're going up against the number one dude i can't go against that so we're just going to go ahead and just straight type out dallas money line in this one we're taking that for sure uh, and then we're going to pop the props and then we're going to see that wyatt johnson over points is, has a great matchup because of the goalie situation and 80 percent, we will open that up we, we try not to do the ones if there's a one i mean i'm not taking anybody against dallas's goalie are you are you kidding me i don't like just burning my money because this is burning your money right here now can he, could they do it certainly they certainly could but or i could just take stank of and get me some shots on goal or with a 24th matchup or i could take marchment or i mean there's options we got tons of options here so uh let's look at these three these three are good johnson points one 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 zero okay he's pretty consistent i mean yeah he didn't get one against edmonton oh no but they scored four goals so i mean it was a chance obviously uh stank zero two three five one three shots on goal it's one and a half it's a buck eh, it's a pretty it's, for hockey if for nhl if it's below 200 i'm okay with it it's just it's one of those things you gotta deal with i try not to go too high but mm, one 175 a dk i can deal with that let's see what we got and we got marchment three three two zero two three yeah sometimes they have an off day it's okay you're not gonna be perfect and great every day Sometimes the teammates want to step up and you just go with them. So we have options. So I'm taking Dallas for sure. And I think which one that's a 24th or 80%. These are 24th, 80%. And that's 24th, 80%. So I can go with any of these. I think I'm going to go. Who has a better number between these three? Uh, let's see. You're 180 from Marshmont. Stank is 175. And Y is 150 on points. Huh? You know what? I think I am just going to go with, we're going to go with Johnson. I love shots on goal though. I really love shots on goal. Like it's just, and stank of, is just a fun name to say. So we're just going to, yeah, that's what we're going to do. You can take any of these three. I probably will take all these three, but for this, I'm just going to give you one. So I'm going to take stank oven over 1.5 SOG shots on goal. And we'll just move on to the next one. All right, moving on to New York and Montreal. We could see that the Rangers are 210 with a six and a half. That's a big favorite. Let's look at the numbers and see why. Oh, that's why. Look at the numbers. Rangers offense is cooking. They are one, two, two, three, four, three, three. That is just, and the goalie situation is nasty. Every number is in the top four, except for penalty minutes which is 29th because they are very aggressive apparently. So that just shows, yeah, that's why they're 4 0 and one. They are pretty good. Montreal is bottom, bottom tier when it comes to all the offense. So, okay, we have a clear favorite for New York on the offense. Hence why they're 210. Let's look at the goalies. Let's see what we got. Uh, today, Igor is expected 301, buck 97, 93.4. That's pretty damn good. Going up against Sam, 2-2, two 2-3-0. 93 pretty good they're ranked sixth and seventh by the site uh eagle number looks better so 
I would say they have an advantage in the goalie. They have a clear advantage in the offense. So the question is, do we take them by the set or do we risk it for the biscuit a little bit, shall they say, and go for a one and a half for a little bit of plus juicy juice? I think, hmm, I don't know. I might even have me on Moneyline Parlay. I haven't done that since baseball regular season here. So uh, we're going to take the Rangers just to win. And I know it's not the exact the best one. It's like, oh, it's minus 210. Like, hey, whatever. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, upsets happen. Eat. Montreal could easily win. They could. I don't see it, but they could win. So let's pop over here to the numbers. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, we got 100%. 21st ranked points for all Alexis here. Let's see what else we got. We got 26 ranked for, oh, shots on goal against the Rangers. That's interesting. Okay. We'll look at it. Hey, I like the outlier gives you these little rank opponent rank and we can see what they are. You want green, you want green, you want big numbers. Cause if you see things like three, that means they're good at it. You don't, they're really good. So, okay. So he likes to shoot on goal. That's, that's cool. Let's see, four, four, two, four, one, two, and your number's one and a half and you're sitting at 200. Ooh, 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 that is a rough one. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's look at, oh, him and look at his points two two three four one one and a half point one and a half points that tells you how much and it's plus of course it is i'm not um i'm already skeptical on points as it is and now you want me to take point and a half or plus uh -uh, uh -uh, can't do it um i'm intrigued by the shots on goal i'm very intrigued like they i can do this the rest of them don't have really good matchups because you're not going to score much on mr igor over here but you can shoot at him all day but because it looks like blocks aren't, you know, yeah, it's the only one that has a great matchup with a good percent and I can see it. So yeah, we'll take, we'll, we'll take old Mr. Gallagher over here. Shots on goal. We'll do that. So we'll take, uh, we'll type it up here over. Was it 1.5? I know the juice is kind of high, but that's the best one I like. Is that our pass for me? So I'll just take that. You can take what you want. I'm gonna move on to the next game. All right, moving on to Toronto Columbus, part two of the team that played last night in Toronto. So now they hosted Tampa. Now they went on the road to Columbus. So uh, not much of a journey, but still still traveling on the left. So we can see they are minus 225 though, because the, yeah, pretty good. And then six and a half. So let's look at the numbers, see why they're favored by so much. Numbers will say Columbus's offense is better. That's just, that's just numbers. That's what stats tell you. Uh, they had to have better dudes on the ice and it looks like Toronto's goalie situation is better overall, but let's look at the goalie situation and see what we got. So we are expected to have Dennis one and Oh, two Oh three, 92% rank 49 versus Daniel, uh, how you say that? two and one, three, six, nine, 87.6, a better rank. So your rank is nowhere near as good, but your stats are better, but your, yeah, huh? Okay. Interesting. So your rate's better overall. That makes sense. I'm um, based on fantasy points, obviously, because this is a site that focuses on fantasy a little bit too. So well, hey, whatever. It's all it's all helpful for us. So uh for me, I see the numbers are better here. So that I can see why Toronto's there. I can tell you right now, I am not trusting Toronto on a back to back. It's kinda like uh basketball. I probably would go pass on a lot of the back to backs because the stars are gonna sit because just that's what they do nowadays. That they, that's what they do. So, I yeah, I'm not I'm not trusting Toronto minus two twenty five on a back to back on a road. I can't do that. So, um, we're gonna pass on this money line. I'm not liking a total. Not liking any of that. Let's go to the props though. We might have some props we can do though. Oh, we got a lot of red. Ooh, that's a lot of red. A little bit of green. We got a hundred percent. But you're going up against Toronto, who was fourth. Uh, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I need these matchups to be somewhat favorable. I can deal with some orange. I cannot deal with Reds because Reds just, your matchup's too bad. It's a bad matchup. Yeah, you're 100%. And people will bet that seeing that. I just can't. I need a good matchup. So we'll pass completely on this game next. All right, moving on. We got Detroit and New York Islanders. We can see that the Islanders are 150 with a six and a half total. So let's look at the numbers. And huh, that's a lot of red. Oh, it's going to be terrible for the offenses. And goalie situation looks good for New York. Detroit's not the best, but not terrible in the same percent. And they're both actually decent at keeping dudes on the ice, which is important. So, two and three versus two and one. Let's look at the goalie setup. Expected, oh, Cam, one and one, 331, 91%. Not bad. 
one and one buck 48 not 95 percent yeah give me new york's goalie all day these are some nasty numbers yeah you're ranked 21 yeah maybe two plus one you're ranked third because these are just sick numbers yeah i'll i'll, t I'll take uh oh sorokin oh that, i'm butchering that name this guy you see who it is i'm gonna take him all day uh let's pop back over here the offenses are just ugh. i mean shots on goal new york will they will pepper the goal they are going to shoot they do not care now are they going to be accurate no <laughs> no but they're going to keep shooting they can shoot or shoot. That's what they do. Shooters are going to shoot their shots. So that's what they're going to do. Uh, they are first in short hand goals. Uh, 27 the power play. The goalie situation is better. Their offense is not. Uh, so, yeah, I'll take New York in the 150. I'll rock with that one. Sure. We'll take NYI. Money line. We'll do that. No problem. Let's pop over to the props and see if we got anything that looks tasty. See, see, this is what I'm talking about now. With this game, we got 30th matchup with 100%. I like that. 30th with an 80. 30th with an 80. See? And they're all shots on goal, too. Mwah, just beautiful. So, oh, Anders. Anders, 100%. percent we will see what you've been doing. Three, three, seven, four, five. It's only a buck 30. Ah, love it. Over two and a half. You're going on my sheets. Do I want to add somebody else? Because we passed in the last game completely. I could add a couple more. Let's look at Brock and let's look at Kyle. Let's see what they're up to. Because they're both 80%. Let's see if they're close. Two, and they're, and they're for 80 from the first game. So three, five, five, four. Brock is pepper on the net too. We love to see it. I love teams with high volume. I love it. Five, four, four, one, three. Eh, Kyle had a little down, but he still shoots too. So you know what? I want to be risky. And I think I want to take all three of them. That's, I know, right? I know. But when you have matchups like this, where you get a 30th ranked matchup against Detroit, and... They're, they're doing great. So yeah, I'm going to take all three. Why the hell not? I took nothing in the last one. So that gives me four plays in this game. Nothing in the last one. That averages out. That's two a game. So we're going to take Anders, Brock, Kyle, all over shots on goal. And we're going to take the Islanders to win next. All right. Next up, we got Winnipeg and St. Louis. We can see the numbers is Winnipeg 150 with a six and a half out there. Let's look at the stats. And I mean, Winnipeg's five and zero oh for a reason. Number one, 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 four, one, two, 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 one. If you're good at everything, you're going to be number one. Should we just cancel the season, give Winnipeg the title? Just give them the cup. Should we? Nah. But, you know. They're their number one team right now, just kicking everyone's ass. That's what they do. So let's look. Uh, St. Louis is bottom 10 when it comes to offense. The goalie situation is average, and they're at, hey, at least they're ninth and keeping dudes on the ice. That matters. So let's look at the goalies. What do we have? Uh, we're expected to have Connor out there. 4 0, 1 2 5, 95%. Give that man a 1, not a 3, because that dude's a beast. Uh, expected. Expected for St. Louis is Jordan, 1 and 2, 303, 89. Not bad, but you ain't Connor. So, yeah, Winnipeg, good luck scoring on them, and they were going to score on you probably. So, yeah, we'll take some Winnipeg 150. That seems that seems like a nice price for him. Seems like a discounted value even. Like, oh, Winnipeg's on sale? I think I'm going to buy me a little Winnipeg today. So, you see what I see. Do you see what I see? Lots of hundreds. Lots of hundreds. Hundred, that's that's five out of five. And that's eight out of ten. That's 85% out of 20 if you want to go to last year. But uh, the matchup is not the best. Mm, I said I got to have a good matchup. So the only thing I'm looking at is maybe Jake Neighbors. 19th with an 80%. You know, it feels weird not to take a, a Winnipeg number. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So... Uh, let me get rid of those three. That's the last game. Here we go. Shots on goal. What have you done? One, two, one, two, four, two. Mm, I'm not liking that. I need a little more, little more consistency going up against this dude. I need, mm -mm. yeah, because yeah, you have good points, but how I, I have to dig really deep. You, you three might have just gotten a really, really favorable matchups for five straight games. Could have, or maybe for like eight straight games. <laughs> So this is one of those, I'm sure one of these will do it, but I don't know which one will do it. So there's sometimes there's too many options. Like the last one, shots on goal is different because everybody can take shots on goal, but we're talking points here. Okay, you need, you know, you need everything to work out if you only get a couple goals for all three of these to actually hit. So, and even goals, Connor goal is at plus 115, plus 109, 80%. So if you want to take something, there you go. I'm going to personally pass on the props. We're just going to say Winnipeg and move on to that next one. Vancouver and Chicago. We can see Vancouver 175 with a five and a half total. Let's look at the numbers. Let's see, 212, 231. Okay, offenses are both kind of eh, below average, we'll call it. Be nice to them. 
I shot some goal and power play. Nothing really stands out there. Goals kind of goalie kind of leans Vancouver a little bit, but we'll see a little deeper in a second. And Chicago's a little bit better at keeping dudes on the ice, but not by much. So literally by two minutes. So, all right, let's pop over to that. Cause so far this is a pass. I need to see more information. Uh, we have Kevin going out there, 2-0-1, a buck 28 with a 95%. That is some beast numbers right there, Mr. Kevin Lincoln. And uh, expected old Peter, or Petra, <laughs> Pizza, 253, 91%. Pretty good numbers here. So it looks like we have terrible offenses, but pretty decent goalies. So what's it's five and a half. I'm tempted to go with an under in this one of all things. What? So um, it's five and a half. You'll see the goals, they're averaging 2.8, they're averaging 2.5. We have two goalies that are pretty damn good. I That comes up to 5.7, but with these two, it comes out to 3. Point, what is that, 3.8. Yeah, we'll take the under 5.5 on this one. Um, if for some reason it moves to 6, we'll just take 6. But hey, well, uh, under 5.5 as of the time of recording. And let's pop the props and see what we got. So, um, we got we got average matchups, terrible a little bit better and so we're just going to look at let's see yeah uh, points i have, points are not my favorites because there's so so many things that happen but guess what we'll take it when we got them you know whatever so two zero one 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 okay not the best one okay you, okay i can deal with that i can do that too see there's always gonna be something missing in one of them so uh to do, do who do i want to go with you've been the most consistent and you have the best you two have the best odds so we're going to take brock out because brock's odds are ridiculous 200 i don't like that so it's going to be jake yeah it's gonna be yeah jake has been more consistent eight out of ten that goes back to last year you were only six out of ten so you'll yeah we'll take jake on this one and we'll pair that with the under so it's like an over prop on point but yet the under so you never know. We'll take that. So it's going to be DeBrusque and over half a point plus the under a five and a half next. All right. Colorado in Seattle. Cracking an avalanche. Uh, we can see that Colorado, Colorado is favorite of all teams. Okay. A six and a half is your total. Let's look at the numbers. Two and four versus four and two. Why is Colorado favored? Hmm. You ask. We see the numbers. They are about damn identical, aren't they? Same on goals. About the same on everything else. Uh, Seattle's not as good as power play, but whatever, that's fine. Go always this situation is terrible for Colorado. Why are they favored? Yeah, and they can't keep news on the ice. Okay, so it must be a terrible goalie going out there for Seattle, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be what it is. Well, one in three, four nine eight, eighty one percent. Can you get worse than Alexander here? Sixty seventh, like third third string goalies that are better than you. Just terrible. Uh, 42nd, one and through 307. You're not good either. The offenses are good. The goalies are not good. It's six and a half. We got to go over. We got to take the over, right? Yeah, because this this is saying five. You're giving up five goals a game. You're giving up three goals a game. That's eight goals a game. I can do simple math. And then I pop back over here and see, ooh, offenses seem to be pretty good. So good offense, a bad goalie, points. So that's what should happen. So should, should happen. Who knows? These dudes might throw a damn shutout. We never know. It's sports. Weird things happen. So looking at the number six and a half. Yeah, we're going to take that over all day. So over 6.5. Let's pop over to the props. Oh, 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 30 second. Hello. I love seeing 30s, 32, 31, 31 with 80s next to them. We got options and it's all damn points. Hmm. Now we have, we have some hundreds, but they have, they have terrible, terrible opponent ranks. Third, on shots on goal, people are going to take this a lot probably because, oh, it's against Colorado. It's against Colorado. But the third, when it comes to shots on goal, they're terrible on goals. So, I mean, I mean, if you want to take a goal, take Jordan. Plus 255 might be the play. Um, so, I mean, let's look at his points then. If his, if his goals are so good, that means his points are good too. So, uh, two, 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 one, two, zero, three. I can do with this. And it's pretty much 105. Yeah. What else we got? Any, what was the other ones? Uh, we got, yeah, I'm not taking his goals. I'm not that crazy. I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good, it's a great matchup. It's a great one to do, but I just can't. Um, I'll take his points though. Maybe Montour points. Let's look at Montour points too. And then we'll also look at McCann points. And then that's about it for this one. I'm not taking a goal prop. Now, if I was making like a, like a goal parlay of like goals throughout the day, I could probably build those like a home run parlay, like a dinger parlay. I could do that probably because some of the information I get in here. So points, I don't like your points as much. 
I don't like your points as much. I like yours better. So we'll, we'll, we'll take Jordan on points. Um, Burlayer, or however you say the hell you say that. So over 0 0.5 points, please. So we'll take that plus the over six and a half next. Moving on to Boston and Nashville. We can see Nashville is a slight favorite with a five and a half total. Let's look over at the number and ooh, offenses ab above average for Boston. Terrible for Nashville. They're 0 and 5 for a reason. They will shoot the hell out of the puck. They are going to shoot the puck. I mean, I don't know where they're shooting it, but they're shooting it somewhere because it ain't on goal. That's for sure. Because <laughs> The percent is absolutely terrible. <laughs> Oh, buddy, their goalie situation is terrible. And hey, but at least they keep doing something nice. They cannot. So let's look at the goalie, see what we got. Uh, expected old Jeremy, 2101, 270 with a 91% save. That's expected. And Soros, 0 4, 364, 87.5%. So yeah, you got to go with Boston's dude. He's he's clearly better than uh, Nashville's dude. Let's pop back over here. Got to go Boston offense. They're clearly better. So what's the Boston money line? It's plus 106. Why? Why are they a dog? I don't know. But so guess what? I will gladly take plus 106. Sure. Give me that Boston plus juice money line. I don't get why Nashville's favored. Like, these are expected goalies. Now, if something changes, ah, I can see it. But until then, I don't know. So you got to treat these like pitchers. These are pitchers. You just never know until it's time. So um, first, first. Clearly don't want to take these. That is the worst matchup you can get is blocks. But we can take this one. Marchand is points at 29th. That's pretty good. And we got some shots on goal, which is favorable matchups. Not a 29th matchup, but still favorable indeed. Um, let's look, let's look at them all. Let's look at Marchand. Let's look at the point shots on goal. Because we know one thing. Nashville's going to shoot the buck. That's what they do. They are going to shoot. Now, is it going to be on goal? Like I said, sometimes it's not. I took you last game, I think, and you got me a zero. Crazy. I don't know how. You, I, do you get back six, three, four, four, zero? Bro, come on. And then Brady, four, four, five, three, one? Come on. What are y'all doing? And then we have one, one, blank, one, one. You're going up against Nashville, who's, yeah, we're, we're going to, I think we're going to rock. This, this feels safer. So we're going to go. I want to see how uh, the other two Nashville dudes bounce back on their shots and goal. If it goes back to like three or four, I'll continue to take them. But that fall off to nothing is kind of concerning. So I want to see what happened. Maybe they changed something around because they're 0 5. Could easily happen. So uh, let's get over 0 0.5 points for the U. Plus Boston money line next. All right, Carolina and Edmonton. We have Edmonton as a slight favorite. Five and a half is the total out there. Let's look at the numbers. Again, we have average offense, terrible offense versus pre above average goalie versus that below average goalie. Yet, why is Edmonton favored? I don't get it. I don't understand. So let's look at the goalies. Maybe they'll tell us why. Uh, let's see. We're expected to have Frederick out there, one and one, buck 94, 93.6. If that's the goalie, that dude's a beast. Stewart is one and three with a 402 and 85%. Why would you, why? Why would you want to take him? I just don't. I'm think, I'm starting to think the, uh, the the lines in hockey are a little looser than like your football and your baseball and your basketball. Just just a hunch. I, just because not as many eyeballs are on hockey, I get it. But hey, if that's the case, we'll take advantage all day. So uh, I'm taking Carolina. This dude looks way better. I'm going to take that. And we see the numbers. The offensive numbers are better. The goalie numbers are better. The only thing that concerns me is they can't keep dudes on the ice. That concerns me a little bit, but it's okay. So... Uh, we'll take Carolina plus 110. I mean, sure. All right, sure. Car money line. All, almost all my money lines are pluses. <laughs> that's, that's slightly concerning. But hey, the number, I, I bet based on stats, if they lose, they lose. We're trying to win 60% of our bets. That's it. Just 60. We're not going to hit 100. We've done it one time in baseball. We hit every bet for the day. It's pinned on Twitter. You can see it if you want. Uh, let's look over to the numbers. Oh, we got a lot of 80s and we got a lot of red, but we got some 28s. So points, 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 and points. So basically pick a Carolina hurricane and you can get you a point. So who has the best ones? You're plus 140, you're out. You're in the 160 ranges, okay? You're in the 180s, you're in the 140s. So, I mean, Sebastian's always a fun one to pick just because, yeah, he's first game nothing, but he ramped it up. I like that. Let's see, let's go look at Jarvis, see what you've been doing. Yes, yeah, that's consistent, but I like I like go oh, Sebastian better. And who was the other one? It was Andre. 
look at you too. You've done the same thing. So whoever has the best, you're 160 and you are 185. So you've been, Sebastian's been more consistent longer. They're about the same really. So uh, we'll take a Sebastian. Why not? Ah ho. Ah ho over 0 0.5 points. Pair that with Carolina Milan and move on to the next one. All right, moving on to Ottawa versus Utah. And we can see that Utah is a 120 favorite with a six and a half out there. Let's look at the numbers and we can see that four, one and one versus three and two. Uh, the offenses are about the same. Does Utah seems to be a little bit better? They don't shoot. Ottawa shoots a, a ton. Utah doesn't. Utah is more accurate though. So that matters. Um, yeah, power play goals, shorthand goals are there. Ottawa's goalie situation is not as good as Utah's. But Utah's average and then Utah can't keep dudes on the ice. So this is kind of a, I don't really know which one to go here. So let's look at the goalie, see if we can get a clear idea. So we got Linus, 1-1, one 2-5-9, one, 91%, pretty good numbers. 3-10 with a 91%, also pretty good numbers. All right, so far, I don't see, like these numbers say it looks like Utah should be better. The goalie situation with their goalie sets, they're about the same. So I don't really see an advantage, a difference here. So I'm probably going to pass on this one right here. Let's go to the props to see if there's anything we like. A lot of orange, a little bit of green. Um, Keller points. Blo a lot of blocks. If you want some blocks, there you go. This is the game for you. Lots of blocks. I, I just don't want to. No, I need better matchups. I need, I need greens. Um, the only one we have is a Keller point for Utah against two pretty good goalies. I'm not feeling that. So for this one, I'm just going to double pass on this one and move on to that next game. All right, Pittsburgh and Calgary. We have, it's basically a pick them with a little bit of advantage to Calgary. Six and a half is that total. Let's look over at the numbers and we see three and four versus four, zero oh and one. Uh, offense is way better for Calgary. Pittsburgh is average. They're not bad. There's average. They do shoot a little higher than they shoot pretty, pretty high. Calgary doesn't shoot as much, but they are very accurate. Uh, goalie situation for the whole season has been pretty damn good. Pittsburgh has not. Calgary struggles to keep dudes on the ice while Pittsburgh doesn't keep, does a good job of keeping them there. So, so far we're leaning Calgary. Let's be honest. We are. Let's look at the situation that's. 0-1, 508, 861, as ex if this is expected. That's a lot of goals allowed. Ooh, and then 202, 94%. Uh, yeah, Calgary, 112. Let me just go ahead and just type that bad boy up. Uh, CGY. Money on that. I mean, you just got to take that. I mean, if, if these are the expected goalies, yeah, give me those all day. So let's go to props. Uh, to, to, to blocks with a good percent. Hey, we finally got some good opponent rank with some blocks out there. Look at that. And then we got points. We got shots on goal 30. Oh, there we go. 31st with a shot on goal. Love it. Love it. There's two, six, four, four, three. It is, it is a plus EV. It should be 160. According to outliers numbers, it should be about 161. You can get it at FanDuel, buck 18. I love that. We're going to take that. Some, yeah, that's the cool thing uh, Outlier does for you. It shows you things like that. So we're going to take Coleman over 2.5 shots on goal. And there's blocks if you want here. I'll show you the rest in case you don't want shots on goal. I got you. Don't worry. Maybe you want to take points. Maybe you want to take shots on goal. I mean, blocks. I'll show them both. I'm taking shots on goal, but you can take what you want. Here is Zeri on his points. 2-1-1-1-0. And then we got uh, Rasmus has been... Perfect. Five for five. So six, three, 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 four on blocks. So you have options out there. They're pretty good. So hundred percent, you can take that one too, if you want some blocks. So I'm going to go shots and goal because my favorite, I just like it the best. So yeah. And yes, in NBA, I like three pointers too. Oh, yeah. I'm one of those people. Yeah. Get over it. I don't care. <laughs> I like offense, but if you want blocks, there you go. Have that, have fun with that. I'm taking Coleman and Calgary money line next. All right, moving on San Jose and Anaheim. Uh, we see the Ducks are 170 with a five and a half total. Okay, cool. Let's look at the numbers. Ugh, damn, that is a lot of red. I know it's Halloween season and there is just, there is just a lot of red on the screen. Oh, terrible. So, goalie situation is also terrible for San Jose, hence why they're 0 and 4 and 2. Uh, they're decent. They're average. They, they're, they're good at keeping people on the ice. They are not. So, we're clearly probably taking Anaheim based on the goalies. That matters a lot. So let's look at what we got here. Uh, McKenzie, 0-1-2, oh, 4 8 6 with an 87%. That ain't good. That's damn near five goals a game. You're three goals a game with a 91%. So you're better. 
Okay, so Anaheim's 170. The over five and a half is there, but the offense are just so bad. Do we think they can even get there? Because currently they're averaging 4.4 a game. So I think I'm just going to go Anaheim money line. I just can't. And I'm like, I can't take anything else I don't want to take. And I can't take a total. I don't trust the under because I don't trust the goalies. I don't trust the over because I don't trust the team. So I'm just going to take Anaheim. Uh, I know it's 170. That's just not the hot, not the best number for a money line. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's kind of like the Dallas one. Like, cool, whatever. Uh, let's go to props. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got a 30th with an 80%, a 32nd with 80% shots on goal. Let's go. Love it. We'll look at Troy Terry on points too. We'll look at both of them. You can go away all right wallman shots on goal two and a half you yeah you like to shoot you know, i can tell it should be 105 you can get it for 130 right now why i don't know i mean it's the 30 second best matchup i might still take it zero and four ones this is anaheim scoring a point against san jose i think you know what? I'm going to go with the data. We're going to rock with the data. It is the 32nd best matchup, 80% overall. It's a plus juice. It said it should be one. It should be higher. So you can get 130 out there for shots on goal. We're going to go with Wallman out there. Uh, yep. Wallman over 2.5. Yeah. You do what you do. Come out there and just shoot, 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 shoot. That's all I want. So those two, and let's go to that last game. Last game, we got LA and Vegas. Uh, we can see Vegas is 145, five and a half is that total. Let's look at the numbers. Uh, we, Vegas is pretty good. They're fifth in offense, clearly. Five, five, five. Uh, they don't shoot that much, but they're very accurate. They are just average all around. They're just average on everything. Average, I would say above average, not even just average, because 10 turns green, 11 still in the orange. But if you're above 15, you're, you're above average, obviously. Uh, they're both decent. They're average to slightly below average for Vegas. And then LA is terrible at keeping dudes on the ice. They are great at keeping dudes. That is a seven minute difference where you're going to have a potential four on five. That's, that's not good for LA. That's not good at all. So you want to have your advantages. So <laughs> let's look at the uh, goalie situation. We have David 201, 237, 89% expected versus Aiden um, 381, 85%. These are just not this. That percent's terrible. That's three, one. So you're, you two are averaging over five goals. It's by over five and a half as it is. Both offenses seem pretty decent. I kind of like this, like the over in this one, to be honest. Um, I like Vegas as well, but I don't like Vegas' goalie. That's, yeah. Mm -mm, no. Yeah, I think I like the over. Yeah, so we're going to go that over five and a half just in this one. So I haven't taken many totals. So I'm kind of surprised by that. So let's pop to the props. Let's see. Oh, we got some oranges. We ain't got no green to look at. Damn, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. We got a couple hundreds, though. A couple hundreds, a couple 80s. We'll look at them. So, Kevin shots on goal was 14th at 100%. We'll look at stone points, and we'll look at Warren shots on goal. We're not going to look at the reds. We don't look at reds. The reds are terrible. So, um, those are just terrible, terrible matchups. So, uh, you can see this is shots on... Wait, that's Wallman. Go away. We already got you, Wallman. You're already on the sheet. Okay. Oh, Hello. Three, five, four, six, five. Damn, slot shots on goal. Well, you shoot. I like that. Hmm. You might be going on the list because that is, that is not only are you hitting your number, you are crushing your number. Three, two, one, two, one, zero. A couple little towers on points. Going against LA's goalie, who is 89%, two and three. Uh, no, not as good. Not as good. And um warren shots on goal let's look at you two five two nah 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 we got to go with the main one we got to go with kevin here kevin is the winner 100 percent 14th oh fiala yeah we're going with him over 2.5 shots on goal got to go with him there he's got good juice good good numbers two and a half yeah i can see that so we'll go with that pair that with the over five and a half and call it right there so let me pop back over here to this screen so you can see the whole schedule for the day just makes it look better so there we go now it loads all right so that's all the games all 16 games broken down i passed on the smart ones i took a, a good bit of plays probably more than i probably should but hey guess what it's the only sport today yeah there's two nba games but no this is hockey's day this is all about hockey today so they get the spotlight they get the plays so i uh, appreciate you watching drop a like and subscribe let me know in the comments who you are going to take today let me know which five hell let me know if i butchered a name because i will do that often let me know 
if I miss something, if something, you know, clearly, uh, other than that, like if you didn't want to watch the whole video, if you just came to the end looking for picks, you become a member, you get a full recap, everything typed out for you. It showed you the beginning of the video. So I appreciate you being here and let's look at tomorrow. But what do we have tomorrow? It's always fun to look at the next day. Uh, ooh, we have one game tomorrow. There won't be a video of hockey. I'll do like I did yesterday. I'll just put the screenshot of the actual, uh, matchup tomorrow. So that way you can see it. I'll put it out on socials. Um, because I'm not going to make a video for one game. That doesn't make sense. So I'll just put it out there for you so you can see things. But we will definitely be back on Thursday. we got a good slate of games. So we'll see you Thursday for more hockey. Peace.